How's it going everyone? Welcome to my top 10 most anticipated films of 2018. Now there's not much coming out this year that really interests me, but for the most part there are a few movies that I want to see, so here they are. Let's get right down to it. My number 10 is a movie that I really only want to see because the first one was a really solid action movie, <laughs> and that's The Equalizer 2. There's been no footage whatsoever of this movie, so it's really hard to judge whether I want to see it or not just yet. Um, but if we're going off, you know, what we know, which is that it's a sequel to a solid action movie starring Denzel Washington, <laughs> then yeah, I am looking forward to it. My number nine is The Predator. Uh, I haven't seen The Predator movies in a very long time, but I am a fan of Alien Covenant. I know, don't hate me, please. So I'd be quite happy if they made this franchise, you know, return like they did with Alien, because I did appreciate that return uh, to the franchise. So yeah, my number nine is The Predator. Number eight is Black Panther. It's bleh, Black Panther. Uh, even though the trailers haven't exactly impressed me just yet, it does seem like one of those movies that will surprise me. I don't know why. Um, that's been the case with lots of Marvel movies. I've not liked the trailers, but I do indeed like the movie. That happened with Thor Ragnarok. I didn't love the trailers at all, but the movie was good. It actually was. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I think that might be the case with Black Panther, but who knows? It could be crap. We shall see. Then, uh, sorry, I have my laptop here with my notes. <laughs> um, then I have uh, number six. No, seven. Uh, number seven is Halloween. Uh, the last Halloween movie was not good, like at all. So, I do think I do think that this franchise should go out with a bang and uh, a good bang, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so I am very excited to see what Danny McBride will do with uh, Laurie Strode's and Michael Myers' return. I do love the first Halloween. It is one of my favorite movies and maybe even my favorite horror movie of all time. Halloween two is alright. I uh, haven't seen the rest in a very long time, but yeah, I am looking forward, like I said, to seeing what Danny McBride does with the final instalment. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the final instalment. Yeah, it is. Hopefully. Um, they might be like, you know what, let's just make some more money <laughs> and make a sequel. All right, next up is uh, Fifty Shades Freed, and that's because it, it should be a good laugh. Like, I just find these movies so hilarious. I love the Fifty Shades movies, and not for reasons that I should love them. Um, I really just can't wait to see Jamie Dornan deliver some shitty dialogue. <laughs> like, sounding like a robot, as he usually does. Yeah. Rest my case, Fifty Shades Freed, it sh like I said, it should be a good laugh. So Fifty Shades Freed is my number six. My number five is a movie that lots of people didn't like the trailer. I did, and that is Jurassic World 2. Yeah, the trailer did impress me, surprisingly. I think it is an interesting take on the new Jurassic World universe. And I am looking forward to it. And uh, you've got to love Chris Pratt cracking jokes with, you know, Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> yeah, I am looking forward to it. I know lots of you aren't, but you know what? I like Jurassic World. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. It might be terrible, like I said, with Black Panther. could be terrible, but for the most part, yeah, I am looking forward to it. Next up uh, is my, num bleh, my number four <laughs> is Venom. I love movies that give a bit of humanity to a villain, and especially after we got split. Because, um, you know, the Unbreakable Universe, James McAvoy in Split is practically a supervillain now. So, I'm actually really excited for Venom and what Tom Hardy will do with the character. He was interpreted, like, terribly in, um, <laughs> in Spider-Man 3. But, um, yeah, I really can't wait for Venom. Uh, next up is a uh, number three. Getting to the top three now. Next up, uh, at number three is Deadpool two. I love the first one. The marketing for this film has been on point, even though we haven't seen much footage <laughs> from the actual movie, which is impressive. And I just can't. I just. Whoa. I did not mean to say that word, but okay. <laughs> um, I I just really can't wait to see Ryan Reynolds crack jokes as the Merc with the mouth once again. Yeah. Um, then we have at number two, Solo, a Star Wars story. I love Star Wars. I love Han Solo. Rest my case. Like, I'm interested to see, you know, what this bloke who's playing Han Solo, I forgot his name. I'm interested in seeing, you know, how he's going to do it. Like, will he just do an, inter like, will he just do an impression of Harrison Ford? Will he 
have his own take. I don't know. We shall see. So my number two is Solo, A Star Wars Story. I think it's quite obvious what the uh, the next one is. My number one, of course, it's the one we've all been waiting for, Avengers Infinity War. Uh, Thanos, he's in town, and even as audience members, you should all be shitting yourselves. <laughs> Um, I was scared that it was, you know, going to feel like all the Marvel movie characters had just been crammed into, you know, one movie and shoehorned into one movie. But the trailer has already proved me wrong on that one. So I really can't wait for Infinity War. But like I said, there's not much coming out this year that's, like, really, like, in my head. I can't wait to see it. Like, I, I, I'm looking forward to lots of these movies. But, you know, for the most part, you know, it's, it's not as exciting as the start of last year. So... What do you think of my list? Do you agree with me? Um, do you disagree with me? Uh, I'm sorry for saying the C word by accident. I was meant to say can't, but I said something else. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you uh, very much for watching and I'll see you later.